Hi everybody, Rebecca Rizzo here, Energy with Shea Rizzo, and I am here to give you a little bit of recap. Um, so I am no longer red. I am now um, a strawberry blonde. You can see I've got the gray coming through. Okay, today was actually one of my uh, big outings um, that I went to, which was at the um, state of the city for one of the local cities that I'm in, that I'm involved with. And it was really interesting because coming in to see everybody and I'm in the midst of changing my brand, I'm in the midst of shifting how people recognize me. And it's interesting. I've had a lot of people ask me what it's like, how am I doing it? And I know, no, I'm not gray yet. You're right. I'm not gray, but this is a transition and I'm transitioning to the gray. So my hair was bright red and I'm now slowly adding in the highlights so that as my everything grows in, you can see as it grows in, it will blend in. Okay, so that being said, it's a transition and I've been sharing with everybody what's going on. And um, I'm planning, we're sitting in, it's May right now, and I'm planning by December, I will be turning 50. And that's when I am hoping to have the transition completed. So everybody keeps asking me how I'm feeling. And to be honest with you, it's really, really strange because I was Rebecca Rizzo with the red hair for 11 years, 11 years. Now, something that a lot of people don't know about me is I always, always reinvented myself. So if you knew me from before I was at the job I was at, when I had, um, I was doing all my networking, if you knew me before that point, before I went to cosmetology school, you knew me as a blonde and you knew that I changed my hair and I re, um, invented myself like every two years, I did something different, cut my hair. I added something different. I did something constantly was always changing. So for me to stay in the same color, not the same color exactly because it changed every time we did it. Um, but for me to stay in that same um, space that I was in for so long was really rare for me. So um, it's interesting because I feel like I'm not seen. So one of the things that um, I worried about was how is everybody going to talk to me and treat me and and everything if I don't have the red hair because they're expecting the red hair they're expecting the boldness and so what I'm noticing is I am not recognized as much um once they see me they like my hair and they say how much it looks softer and I look younger I get all kinds of that but it takes them a minute to see me and that does something weird emotionally for me now, I don't want to necessarily be seen. I liked it. I enjoyed being seen. I enjoyed having people recognize me and noticing that it was me. So I got used to that. I got used to people looking for the red hair to find me. So it's a little strange because I feel like I am, um, I'm rebranding, yes, but I'm also reinventing the way I'm seen and my coloring and my style, I feel like is now all changing too. So I feel vulnerable. I feel vulnerable. I feel like I'm not seen and I feel vulnerable. So that's where, that's where I'm at. Uh, but there's no going back now. I'm still continuing to make sure that I go gray and emotionally, this is much harder than I thought it was going to be. But I know for those who asked, I did have some folks ask me, why am I going gray? Why am I deciding to go gray? And the reason why I'm deciding to go gray guys is because I, like I said, have been dyeing my hair for 11 years, 11 years. You guys have had red hair. Okay. And what happened was about two years ago, right when the lockdown happened, a little bit before that, I was having to color my hair a lot. My daughter is also a licensed cosmetologist, so she helps me do that. But what was happening is it started to sting really, really bad. And so as it's on my head, it's stinging and it's burning and it's hurting. And so it kind of got to the point where we realized there was only a question of time before I was gonna have to stop coloring my hair. So. 
I hit a moment, um, all this transition of me leaving my job, my career for seven years and starting my own deal and leaning into my own happiness. Um, I am deciding, I knew that it was time for me to transition out of my gray hair. And so that is the reason why it was painful. Now I know beauty is pain, right? That's what I've always learned. And that's what you always remember growing up, right? Beauty is pain. It's just, you just deal with it. Not when you were using chemicals and it's on my scalp and it's actually not, it hurts, it stings and burns. And within two days of me doing my hair, all of this part was already white. And so it didn't make much sense anymore. And that is the reason why I am going gray. But I do wanna also let you know, I am big on products. So I am doing the going gray the right way. I am using a violet blue shampoo by Matrix. It's called Brass, um, Brass Off, I think brass off and it's got a three section. I've only used the two, which is the shampoo and the conditioner that has the tint. Um, and I also have the color mask, but my stylist, um, Andrea, uh, Shorty Legs, uh, Shorty Legs Wild Styles, um, she recommend that it's, it's incredibly messy and to prob probably not do it right now. So we'll see, I'm still transitioning, I'm still getting light. And part of the goal and the reason why I'm doing it now I know I don't turn 50 until December is because I want to be able to enjoy the summer and go, go all the water parks and all the water adventures and stuff without worrying about my hair color dripping onto my clothing or it um, turning colors in the water, um, which is a real problem for redheads. So that is where I'm at. I wanted to kind of give you a recap and tell you, yeah, I am feeling incredibly vulnerable and I do appreciate all of the feedback and all of the great um, insight that I've gotten. I've got some great comments. The cool thing is, is I've had questions about um, things and then I have some of you folks who are actually answering the comments for me, which is great. Thank you so much. And again, this is just my transition on going into my natural me. Um, I am energy with Shea Rizzo. So everything that I do is all about energetically improving our situation raising our vibes, increasing our frequency so that we can have that ripple that radiates around us, bump into other people and help change the world by affecting or effecting others with that same level of happiness because of that ripple. I believe that if we find things to make us happy and things to enjoy in life, then our frequency changes it radiates around us and it ripples and it bumps into others. And so you see, I truly believe that if you find things to make you happy, you're actually helping change the world. So that, if you like that, if you believe in that, you know, tune in, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, again, I'm Rebecca and I'm going gray and I am feeling vulnerable, but I'm also feeling incredibly excited about what's next. So thanks so much. You have an absolutely amazing day love, light, and many blessings. Peace.